Yo, what is going on everybody? We have more news today for Friday the 13th. So I'm just gonna rattle through it because there's quite a bit to talk about, but it's pretty much a FAQ or a frequently asked questions on content, the legal status and future of the game. Of course, talking about Friday the 13th, the game. So it's a post by Wes Keltner, who is part of Gun Media. And so he says, you know, blah, blah, blah. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Wes Keltner. <laughs> okay, so let's just get straight into the questions here. It says, does this mean you, Gun Media, can create new DLC now for the game? And the answer is we cannot currently add new DLC or content to the game. And it is unclear if this can ever happen. We can only perform maintenance, balances, or balance, QOL fixes, which is quality of life, I believe, which is pretty much like bug fixes. And so it also says why won't slash when will gun media add Uber Jason, the Grendel, and clothing DLC. And it says the entire license is currently under a legal microscope. We wish this was a more clear cut black and white scenario, but it's not. There is a lot of gray. We hope that in the near future, a more legal clarity will occur, but it's not Gun's call. As mentioned previously, at this time, you cannot add any new content, regardless of where the content falls within the F-13 canon, uh, such as Uber Jason. While Uber Jason appeared to be close to being finished, there was still some work that needed to be completed in order to finish him. When we got the word to stop, we stopped. There were clothing packs and kill packs that were also nearly complete, however, the Grendel map still had months of work to go. When this content was leaked, we were under 50% complete. It's not likely that Grendel will ever see the light of day. So, next question here, why did Yugon Media decide to stop making this content? And I mean, this is kind of a, kind of a, uh, a stupid question that could easily be answered. And so the answer is, the decision was made for us because you know, the legal process. They don't own any of the rights to Friday the 13th, the game, and uh, therefore they continue to work with their partners at Horror Inc. And as more information unfolds for the project, Gun wants to release content as are, or as do the partners at Horror Inc. Until more clarity is provided, we cannot add new content. Why won't you Gun Media settle slash pay Victor Miller to create content? You know, so if they just settle the whole lawsuit, you know, go back to making stuff. So it pretty much says that Gun is not a part of the legal issues, which makes sense. Uh, Victor Miller didn't take Gun Media to court. So it's not his settle or pay as anyone that relates to the legal issues. Our partners at Horror Inc. have reached out a few times in effort to sell settle with Mr. Miller, however, we were informed that his communication was ignored. So, I mean, that's honestly incredibly strange and honestly a little weird that uh, Gun Media is working with Horror Inc. to try and communicate and get in contact with Victor to, to settle something and to get, you know, these horror projects back in the content creation process, but they are just being outright ignored is just absolutely insane with me. Especially seeing how how large, you know, this story is, you know, everybody like a lot of people know about this lawsuit because it was just out of nowhere and it just ended the game. And not only that, but it, it's affected the whole Friday the 13th franchise. It's not just people who, who play the game and maybe report on news like myself. It's a wider variety and a wider range of people. So anyways, it says we hope that all parties can come together in the future so we can add some new content. But it's not likely, nor should it be expected. So, with that statement, Gun Media's staying still on the fence of uh, new content coming to the game isn't likely. But I mean, miracles happen, and I'm 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 sure hoping that it happens because I miss this game so much. Uh, I was like watching my older videos, watching older gameplay. I've even used some of my older gameplay, and oh my gosh, like the game has come so far. And it's such a such an amazing experience, and I just want it to to be and live up to its full potential, and not be you know curbed or stopped by something uh, something like this. And the last question says, why won't Horror Inc. settle with Miller so you can create content? And it says, as mentioned previously, this has been attempted in the past with no progress. Our partners at Horror Inc. will continue to reach out. 
to Mr. Miller, but until communication lines are opened up, there is very little we or our partners can do at this time. So that is all for this official statement from Gun Media and from Wes Keltner. Honestly, yeah, there's a lot of mixed feelings definitely with this, and I honestly, it changed my my visions and my my views on gun media and the game project as a whole it's clear to me that they didn't stop making content or they didn't use the lawsuit nearly as uh as an excuse i know a lot of people were a little bit skeptical and we were all kind of caught up in emotions trying to just point fingers at anyone we could but it seems here in this official statement that they were hard at work uh and just pouring their their time and effort and it's clear if you guys have been following their twitters individually they do a lot of work in the office they're constantly hanging around each other anyways though i'm sorry this has been a longer video but i just kind of wanted to get my thoughts out there give you guys the whole story the whole statement as we don't get a lot of news uh for this game anymore and i haven't made a video in quite some time but anyways as always i would love to know what you guys think about this whole situation the lawsuit this official statement coming from gun and wes Thank you all so much for watching this video if you guys did enjoy. Make sure you guys drop a like to show your support. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Anyways though, I will see you all in the next video. And uh, yeah, goodbye. Take that.